Today we take a vintage executive desk on its last legs and give it a modern adjustment to bring it new life and usability into the 2020s. We'll cover a step-by-step -step guide on taking the tabletop off on this rustic, beautiful desk. We'll cover removing the trim pieces. We'll show you how the general project can go and adapting to a standing desk with a kit that's been featured on the channel before. Last but not least, we'll talk about the possibilities and how we can make this project even better in the future. This project is super easy and super fun and lets you upcycle and bring a touch of antiquity into your new projects and gives you a desk to enjoy every day. The first step is getting our workspace nice and clean and the desk ready. To remove most center drawers, it's as straightforward as pulling up and out. Check for side clips if it's not coming out. Next up are the side drawers. We're working to take out the easily removable items, so we eventually expose all the screws holding the tabletop on. If the drawers don't come out, most will have side clips that in this case needed to be pushed up, and with that the drawer comes right out. Easy stuff so far. So far so good, and we're almost at an easily removable tabletop. With all drawers gone, we inspect the inside of the desk to see how to get those trays out. It's a pretty easy design, as you can see, so let's get rid of those bumpers holding the trays in. And voila! With the bumper removed, the trays slide right out. Let's do the trim pieces and get to that tabletop shortly after. With the drawers and table trays gone, we're left with a mostly empty shell of a desk. We can already see a few of the screws on the sides, exposed from below, that hold the tabletop to the frame, which we can see from the sides due to age. Taking a cursory look at the underside, we can see that a few of the trim pieces might be in the way. A screwdriver makes quick work of the trim pieces that will get out of the way. We're almost at that tabletop. And I just finished pulling this out, but let's look at this beautiful trim piece that we can use for anything else, on shelving or anything. With trim pieces gone, we can see we are lucky and that on this old model, the tabletop is attached without any gimmicks with straightforward screws. Finally, at last, we get to get this beautiful tabletop off of the rustic desk and prep it for the standing desk frame. So that our desk is disassembled, it was super quick. You can reuse these as like drawers for something or dressers, you can paint them white, integrate them into a wall. As long as you disconnect this, we have our standing desk stuff here. And here is the overall view of everything hanging out with our Brit totally free tabletop and all these reusable parts for other projects or other furniture things. Now the next part is just using the standing desk, cleaning, maybe cleaning this up. You can see why it was free, because it was a little scuffed up in the corners during transportation and during use. So they're both a bit beat up. If we want to make it really modern, we can cut holes out on the other side for grommets, but we have something pretty exciting coming along. But other than that, we'll just flip this over, put on the standing desk, and go from there. Now you might have a standing desk conversion project that ends up looking like this. That is totally fine. I've already made a complete step-by-step -step tutorial that's easy to follow that I'll link above and in the description for easy reference. I'll save some time and not include the entire step-by-step -step here and move on ahead to the after results. With the shell and drawers out of the way, this is what the end result looks like. We took a bit from the old age of desks, and a bit from the 2020s, and combined the two and are left with a comfortable, warm tabletop on which we can either write letters to the past or build a full-blown workstation. Another upside is that this tabletop is massive. It's hard to find any tabletops deeper than 30 inches online unless you're buying custom countertops, and we're rocking a full 36 inches here. In the future, if we ever wanted to take this to the next level, we could. Refinish the tabletop, which we could easily do even after this project. Add a subframe under the desk with spacing for the trays and top rows of drawers. Drill cup-sized holes for desk grommets for cable management and mounting monitors and accessories. Installing monitor arms. Installing hidden wireless charging under the tabletop. Overall, we took a vintage executive desk and gave it a modern adjustment and brought new life into the 2020s today. 
Hopefully the step-by-step -step guide was helpful in taking the tabletop off an old executive desk. It was super fun here, and total took around 5 hours, assembly included. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.